What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. So you might have updated your Mac to the latest Mac OS Sequoia to try out some new features but instead you get bugs and glitches and now you want to downgrade to the stable Mac OS build well in today's video let's find out how you can do that. So basically there are three methods we can use to downgrade Mac OS but first I would like to suggest that you take a manual backup of your files folders and photos because these methods will of course clear all your storage on your Mac and then we will gonna install older Mac OS on it. So once you have taken the backup now let's start with the first method and that is downgrading Mac OS using Time Machine. Well this is the most easiest way to downgrade Mac OS on your Mac but the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you will require a backup with Time Machine of your previous OS otherwise if you don't have any backup you can skip this method and try something else. So first you need to connect your time machine drive to the Mac, restart the Mac and boot into startup option window and to do that you would require to press and hold command plus R if you have Intel based Mac or you can simply keep pressing the power button on Apple Silicon Macs. Now select options and continue in Mac OS utilities select restore from time machine backup and click continue. Choose continue again, select the time machine drive as the restore source, select the backup and just follow on screen instructions. And just like that you have successfully downgraded your Mac. And now let's talk about our second method and that is using a bootable drive. Okay so this is an alternative way in which you need to create a bootable drive using a Mac OS you want to downgrade on. So first and foremost you need to open the browser on your Mac and search for that particular Mac OS you want to downgrade to with App Store in it. So for now let's search Sonoma App Store. Click on the first link and it will redirect to the app store, get the Mac OS and download the installer. Once the download is finished, a startup page will appear, just minimize it. Now connect your pen drive and go to the site. I will give the link of this site in the description so make sure you check it out and copy the command for your Mac OS you want to downgrade to. Now you need to rename the pen drive to my volume. M capital, V capital, otherwise you need to change the command with your pen drive name. I would recommend that you change the name of the pen drive instead of changing the command itself because the chances of error will increase if you change the command. So just change the name of the pen drive. Open terminal and paste the command you have just copied from the site. Press enter and now it will ask you for the admin password. Just input it and press enter one more time. And now it will start to create a bootable drive with that Mac OS you have downloaded. So once the bootable drive is ready, now it's time to flash it on your Mac. But First you need to boot your Mac into startup option windows and make sure that the bootable drive is connected to your Mac. Startup option window will show your bootable volumes including the bootable installer. Select bootable installer and then continue. When the Mac OS installer opens, follow the on-screen installation instructions and just like that, Again, you have successfully downgraded your Mac with a bootable pen drive. Well, what if you don't have any time machine drive or you don't have a pen drive to make it a bootable drive, then what you ask me, I'll tell you. But first, I think if you like this video, make sure to press the like button and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. So if that's the case, you would require to use internet recovery. Well, this is the fastest method you can use to downgrade your Mac, but with a catch. And that is, it will restore the Mac OS which came pre-installed on your Mac and not the latest stable one. And also this method will clear your internal drive of your Mac. So make sure you take a proper backup of your data. So once you have taken the backup of your data, it's time to reboot your Mac into startup options window. So once your Mac boots up into startup option window, now select options and continue. Choose disk utility and continue. Under internal section, select Macintosh HD volumes and click on erase. Give a name to your volume according to your preferences and keep the format to APSF and select erase and again erase Mac. And lastly it will ask you to erase and restart just click on it. Doing this will clear each and everything from your internal storage of your Mac and now it's time to install the OG Mac OS which came pre-installed on your Mac. So once your Mac restart it will ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi do that and select exit recovery and now you will have the option of reinstall macOS 
select and continue just follow the on screen instructions and just like that you have successfully downgraded your mac with the third method and with all these three methods you can downgrade your mac and of course you can just save yourself from bugs and glitches present in the latest sequoia beta and if you're facing any problem do let me know in the comment section and i will answer you for sure and while you are down there make sure to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post on ios 18 and some useful tips like this and one more thing go to app store download igeeks blog app and enjoy everything apple content and amazing wallpapers i can vouch for and on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tada see ya bye